Hey, welcome to round two. Um, we're going to play. It's always a good sign. Um, not with this, though. And this hand on the other hand, definitely a keep. And I'm going to bottom one of the islands. Pretty as they may be. You only need one. Right now. This is just a decent hand. Um, if we're after, we can't really iteration on turn two, so we're just gonna, if we don't draw anything, we're just gonna have to do turn two. Say go. I think no, we, we could just try and uh, just use that uh, as a look at tree, put one into our hand. Maybe. Let's see how, uh, how fast we need to play this game. Our opponent uh, Shalomas is uh, thinking about their seven. Hmm, look at the top three cards. Um, yeah, we're keeping this. Our opponent's also mulligan to six. Chancellor. All right. Anyway, that means I'm going to go island and go. This is going to look to turn two our stuff and delay our game by a turn. Uh, Fate is losing. I'm actually. I think I might want to fight about uh, our ways to put stuff into the graveyard. Um, I not, just want to delay them basically. But if they have a second mana, I'm gonna get value out of my days anyway. I don't really have anything else going on, so I don't necessarily need to hit my second mana. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. Both board, I certainly always fight about stuff, so them trying to put stuff in the graveyard. Um, main board, generally not, but I know they have a Chancellor in their hand, they can get rid of. Uh, with this hand, I'm not beating the Chancellor if they get it into play. So I think this is fine. And I'll just jam my Delver. Since I've paid their Chancellor tax. And try and dig for a wasteland next turn probably. Yeah, that probably means then I'm screwed. That's the plan. It's kind of rough. Um, since I still have mana for the for a tomb now. Mm. All right, all right, all right. Let's stick with the plan and probably get. Messed up a bit by an entomb. Um, nope. They will want to draw that. Um, so the question here is if I, if I ponder or not. I think I do, since I want to flip my Delver and I think it's good to find something like a Daze. And that means I'll do it first. A second wasteland force negation, first generation. Um, I think I'm just gonna try to f double wasteland them, and then question is, do I want to have the force negation as an option next turn or the iteration? Don't think it matters much, but uh, just in case I need to dig past the, my, my force to a borrow or something, I think it's better to have the Iteration in hand. Mm. 
I'm just gonna hope that they miss land drops and don't have the entomb or more fatus do things now. Good. So definitely revealing that. They could have the entomb and do it now. It's just rough, but at least they still need to find mana. It gives me time to draw the Fossil Negation next to my blue card. And definitely East Ending them. Well, they didn't have the Entomb, that's good for us. And I don't want to play the iteration now, since I don't get any value off of it, and uh, I want the blue card for my force. Alright, we got there. Um, so, Relic, Surgicals, Caracas, Fluster Storm, probably, these Fusha. Taking out the worst of our removal spells. Um, giant or Lightning Bolt is interesting. Like both kill Magus if they have it, they shouldn't ward it in this matchup, I think. But, mm, so I definitely want to keep my Boros, my Ethereal Foragers, my Delvas, my Spellpiss, my Cantrips, all my counters. So what are the cards here that I want? To, I might want to take out over one of these. I think as far as stretch go, uh, Giant is probably better than one of Young Pyromancer to be an answer to the weird sideboard cards they could have. And now the question is, uh, do I want Lightning Bolts over some more of my threats? I currently have 13 creatures in the deck, which is, well, if we don't expect them to play removal, still a bit high. Could do, certainly could go down to 12. Um, but being up a game, I think it's good to just look if they have something we want to bolt. Uh, bring in the old breacher, by the way, as well. It's not great, but it's a blue card for the forces, and it uh, can certainly mess with a uh, crystal brand if it gets to that. We should hope it doesn't get, get to that, of course. And then for, for that, I'll just cut another uh, young pyromancer. Now, if, if we do see a bunch of green over their mana base post board, because they are on that Rip Decay plan, then we might consider a submerge. But uh, until then, no buoy, no, since we don't know if they're straight black red, black red white, black red green, or anything like that. Um, as far as this hand is concerned, we have a false will, two dazes, and a forger to follow it up with. Um, it's a bit slow. But if we counter aggressively, uh, we should be able to get uh, four cards in the graveyard by the time we hit two land drops. Like one, two, three, four. Um, so I'm going to keep this and just focus on countering aggressively. The opponent goes down to five. That's good if we're on the aggressive countering plan. Of course, we only have the force wheel for turn one. Don't see or something. Duress. Alright. I guess there goes our force wheel. This hand certainly is an ideal post board. Like main board, this would be a great hand post board. Meh. We don't have any of our graveyard aid or stuff like that. So we're definitely just jamming in the volcanic island. All right. Um, me casting brainstorm might prompt them to entomb in response, and I might want to have the double days available then. 
And I don't think I the cards in my hand are good enough that I can expect not to want to brainstorm anything away. And I can't waste them here, just so I think uh, it's good to play the town first and just go with the, the brainstorm. Alright, uh, not ideal, but definitely fine. Getting rid of an island, and now the question is do I get rid of the delta or a daze or an iteration? I think. Um, I don't need all the creatures necessarily, since. Um, since we're already putting a pressure with what we have here. That being said, delve. Oh, couldn't delve into place is good pressure. And next turn we'll be up to one, two, three cards. If we don't get today's anything, we only have three cards in the graveyard. So next turn we won't be able to go cast Forger or the Old Breacher. Um, I'm just going to get rid of the iteration. I think it's the worst card here now. Even though it's our only cantrip, I don't expect us to cast the iteration next turn when we have options like Forager or Hull Breacher. Um, just in case they board it in the Megas of the Moon, which I don't think they should, I'm uh, gonna get my basic island. With this hand, there's this, and, and without the Lightning Bolts or Pyroblast in my deck, I don't think there's much to be gained in going heavy on Volcanic Islands when we don't have to. Oh, Relic, no, I don't want to reveal that, but uh, that is interesting, since now I have to choose between uh, Forager plus Relic that I can't uh, grip or just going for the end of turn Hill Breacher uh, which is very good if they find red for a Fetus looting no, no, not ideal, they'll still have some mana um, the problem is if I Relic here, which is like the safest line in general I don't get to do anything else this turn. Since just casting the relic and activating it on them doesn't do anything. And I think that is too low pressure here. So I'm gonna go for the Hill Breach or the Forager plan. I'm gonna go for the Forager and the Relic here. The reason being that that protects Relic from their discard spells. And I think just uh, Forager is just better here than uh, what they're doing. Um, don't think there's a reason to make their graveyard smaller here. I don't think there's a big reason to do it in any other way either. But at least this could prevent them from going... Um, killing one of my creatures and then... Uh, um, resing it, so don't have a good reason to tap my relic here to prevent them since it doesn't do much but it does prevent them from killing like my forager and then reanimating it so good to keep it on tap here all right then uh, they got stuck on one mana against the double dazes that they saw and uh now i was going to run away with the game with relic and uh, forager so i understand the scoop here and uh let's uh, go to round three